that hurt. Well, hello there, Sleeping Beauty. What you been doing all summer? Well, I know what you've been doing all summer. You've been sleeping because it's been too damn hot here in Phoenix, Arizona to work on you. But guess what? It's Friday, and it's time to get back to doing more Firebird Friday videos. So with that, let's take her for a spin. Let's see how she's been all summer just hanging out. I got a t-shirt from uh, Bad Attitude C10 YouTube channel. He's got some pretty cool looking stuff. Go check his uh, YouTube channel out. There'll be a link down below. So with that, let's shut up. Let's get this baby fired up. And let's take her for a spin and see how she does on this week's episode of Firebird Fridays. <laughs> So here's the deal. Jonathan over at Vinyl Village Garage, he said you're missing your uh, air baffles up on top and your air baffle for down below. And I was like, hmm, I think I have these somewhere. Oh yeah, I have them right here. Yeah, there we go. There they are. Original 400 AC uh, baffles. How the hell did they go in? That was my question. So I started thinking about it. Well, there's two right here. That looks like maybe that matches up on the two fender bolts here. Okay, and then this one, if I follow that same concept, those that would go like that. And then obviously, this one here then would then snap onto here, tie in something like that that well cool so we got all the pieces for the top what about the bottom down here so i went and started digging around through all the stuff we got with the firebird and i think i found it i think that's that lower baffle that jonathan was telling me about but now how the hell does it go in there <laughs> uh, i don't know now down here is where is where this baffle goes and it looks like it fits in just like that, that back piece up. And it looks like there's a point here, matches up on there. And then it looks like you got one, let's see here, two, and three. Looks like three on both sides, so a total of six. Now, you can see I'm missing a few of those. So let's uh, see if we can't replace those and at least get this hanging to see if it makes a difference or not. All right, let's see if we can't knock those off. I think those just slide up in there. Just a little bit of room. Let's go check on that other side down there. Yep, just what I thought. I got the uh, J-clip here, and then there's sort of a J-clip here, then of course there's uh, another one there, but I'm missing all those screws. So I'm going to go dig around and see if I can find a couple screws to uh, get this in the place real quick here. All right, so let's see here. Let's take this bottom baffle. This is all kind of bent to hell. So what I'm dealing with here is that's uh, not quite flat. So then again, this whole thing is uh, not quite. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some tap to tap. All right, 
Let's uh, see if we get back up in there. There's two of them, those two front ones. Let's see if I can just kind of tighten them down real quick here. Take that one out. There we are. There's my girl. You been a good girl? Yeah. You been a good girl? Yes. Yes, I know, I know. Gotta give dad kisses. I know, I know. I know. Thank you for the kisses. Thank you. Thank you. There's one. Got one more there. I have to grab me some more screws. I'd say it's in there. As you can see, I have, there's one there and there's supposed to be a big nut screw there, which don't have. So I got that one, I got this one. This is the one that's not lining up. Let's see in there. One there, and then one right there, right there, yep, 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 yep. And then another one right down there. So, and again, you saw how kind of messed up this, but that's better than what it was. Hot dog. Let's get those uh, top baffles done now. All right, so let's try to make sense of these panels here. So this is the one that goes to the driver's side. And as you can see, it's got two nuts welded onto it. So in theory, I'm thinking it slides underneath the fender. So like that which then would facilitate the need for that to go in like this. Well, the problem is, I think my front end is just a little off, or the sheet metal isn't perfect. So there's that one. Here's this one, and I'm thinking it goes on top of, but under, like this. Kind of like that is what I'm assuming. Because it wouldn't go on top, would it? It almost have to go like that. Okay. And of course, on this side over here, you can see I'm missing, or supposedly missing, the two that go there, which go up and under here, but then would line up with that cross number there. And again, this here goes into there. So let's see if we can't make something happen. All right, guys, so this is what I've done. Now, this is not correct. I'm going to show you a few little things, but I did this just so we can see if there's going to be a difference in the temperature while idling and driving this car around town. I just ordered myself all new hardware, so you're going to need the special Phillips heads that go here and here on both sides, and then you're going to need the clips that go here and here, and then here and here, and of course there. So with that being said, I'll do a follow-up video once again on my hardware. But just so you know, this here tucks under, gets screwed in there. This panel here technically should slip under the latch part, 
and this part should slip under this part and then two bolts there and then same thing with this one here slips under that there should then be like that kind of like that over there that's correct here is where your uh, hood stop should go and of course they're not lining up just yet and then uh, down here is another bolt which i haven't quite figured that one out just yet but so we got all of this together i think we uh fire her up and let's go for another drive let's uh, take it around town just some uh, you know cruising the uh, streets and then let's uh, see how the temperature goes because we noticed when we drove it just a while ago it was getting like 210 220 in idling and traffic and stuff so let's see if adding this top baffle and the bottom baffle if all that is going to make a difference in temperature while just cruising around town and hitting traffic let's fire up let's go find out well it's been a hell of a summer here in arizona as you can see uh probably one of the worst summers i've ever experienced while living here in arizona if i've lived here oh yeah my entire life so yeah it's a uh, top three of the worst summers but we got this together we're going to get a new hardware kit in probably the next couple of days i'll do a follow-up video next couple of weeks on how this goes but for this week um i think it's a proven thing that having the top baffles and that bottom baffle on directs more air through that radiator mostly in traffic and mostly around town on the uh, highways and stuff i saw no difference in my temp my temp stayed right there at 195 to 200 ish while driving around at 60 65 miles per hour but in town doing these two little things did bring down my overall temperature in the uh, car so i think it's a win-win thank you guys so much i'm gonna wrap it up it's still hot here in phoenix 104 today middle of september we're starting to go down it is my wedding anniversary yesterday the thursday the uh, 14th of september i want to say a very special happy anniversary and i love you darling and thank you for putting up with me the last uh, four years of doing this crap on this uh, youtube thing you Thank you. I appreciate that. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have a question or if you saw something that I could do better on this build. And until uh, next Friday, you stay safe and be good. And I'll be back next Friday as we continue through the winter with weekly updates on the 67 Firebird 400 build. Until then, guys, have a good one.